Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I'm Okwayemi Owosheni. A protest has erupted in Lafayette, the Nasarawa state capital, following the Supreme Court judgment affirming the election of Governor Abdullah Isule. The Lafayette Josh Road has been completely blocked as the supporters of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, burn tires in front of the state secretariat of the party, thus barricading the road. Shops and business centers, including schools within the Lafayette metropolises, have abruptly closed. There is also security present, restoring peace and calm, and ensuring no escalation. And the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, has a max $1.7 billion in the 2024 budget for the establishment of a pilot smart secondary school in the FCT. The FCT Minister in Somuike disclosed this in Abuja on Thursday at an event organized to celebrate the accomplishment of public school students in FCT in academics and sport. Wiki was represented by the Mandate Secretary Education Secretary at FCTA, Dan Lami Ayo, said that the move was to align with global trends on digital teaching and learning. And the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ola Olukoyede, has revealed that some investigators in the anti graft agency received bribes and compromised the fight against corruption in Nigeria. Olukoyede announced this in his New Year speech to EFCC officials at the agency's headquarters in Abuja on Thursday, January 18, 2024. He warned that such conduct would no longer be tolerated under his leadership, adding that he will not hesitate to punish any officer who tarnishes the image of the EFCC. And in Kogi State, the government on Thursday banned traditional rulers and community leaders from issuing consent letters to prospective miners in the state. The Commissioner for Solid Minerals and Natural Resources, Bashir Gego, issued a ban during a stakeholders' meeting with traditional rulers in Lokoja. The government directed that henceforth any consent letter must pass through due process for its consideration and approval. And on business, the value of Nigeria's unknown oil export revenue recorded a marginal decrease to 4.5 billion naira dollars in 2023, the Nigerian Export Promotion Council has said. The executive director of the Nigerian Export Promotion Council, Noye Ayeni, reviewed the figures while addressing the media on the performance report of the non-oil export sector for 2023. This reduction in revenue follows years of improved receipts based on the government initiative to diversify the economy from oil exports. And a fire raged at an oil depot on Friday in the Russian region of Brenesk, bordering Ukraine, following a drone strike, to be according to the regional governor. Alexander said the Ukrainian drone was neutralized, but it dropped in munition as it was intercepted, who struck an oil depot at Klinsky, a town of about 60,000 habitants, located about 70 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. And finally on sport, Group B giants Egypt and Ghana played a 2-2 draw in their second match day in the Africa Cup of Nations AFCON, holding in Côte d'Ivoire. Egypt was forced to make a last-minute substitution towards the end of the first half as star player Mohamed Salah felt uneasy. Egypt equalized to Omar Mamosh in the 69th minute, but Kudus quickly replied with a second goal for his team two minutes later. And that's all on the newsroom at this minute. Join us somewhere at the top of the hour. Bye for now.